everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West where uh, we just, I don't know if I'm going to show any of it, but I just defeated a tide, what is that, snap maw, not snap maw and not a tide ripper, but one of the turtles, uh, the giant turtles. And there's a cauldron right here that I wanted to go to, but I got in there and it kept telling me you're too low level for it and I was like, man, it took me an hour to get in here because it did. Uh, for the record, took me ages, um, to kill everything, because it was just, it was garbage, <laughs> just the stupid thing. I kept trying to lure it into traps, and it kept not wanting to be lured into traps, the giant turtle. And, uh, it just totally took ages, and I ended up having to come up here and pot shot it, and I pot shotted both the otters and the snap maw that was here too. Anyway, it was just really frustrating, and I'm quite frustrated, honestly. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I do actually want to run, look at this really quick. Did I? I should have passed this. Oh. No? Okay. Um, anyway. Uh, so now I'm just going to focus on the main mission. So, okay, now, so I get in. I get in there eventually, and it's like, oh, you really shouldn't, you really shouldn't, and I was like, no, I've spent an hour trying to get in here, I'm gonna do it. Um, and turns out, it was right, and I couldn't even, the issue I was having, mostly, oh, well, I guess let's see if we can do this. Quick! Let's trigger a chain reaction. Whoa! What? That's unfair! <gasps> what the heck? Why is there a ravager? Oh my gosh. Why is there a ravager? I. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, give me the salmon. Come here, give me the other salmon. <laughs> what is this? Um, I think I put that salmon up on the shore. I scared it off. Anyway, so the stupid... I get in there and I can't... There's a, there's a crate that I'm supposed to be able to pull, but I couldn't latch onto it. It wouldn't let me, it wouldn't let me use my... This thing to latch onto it. And I was like... Okay, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. What is this? Um. And, uh, so I freaking... I'm just following this, I guess. Um. So I tried, and I wa I, I did like a, a written guide. That didn't help me. And I did a... Um, a video one, and all of them looked like I was doing what I needed to do, and, uh, but they were, it was incorrect, it was incorrect, <laughs> I was doing something wrong, I don't know, maybe it wasn't high enough level, but then I looked at the comments for this guide, for this video guide, and people said it is the hardest dungeon, hands down, hardest cauldron in the game, um, So, I think I dodged a bullet, honestly. Uh, and apparently it's super glitchy, and apparently there's a Tide Ripper at the end. No, get off. There's a Tide Ripper at the end. Which makes sense. Um, and apparently if you lose to it, people will frequently spawn outside the map, and they have to, like, reload. Which just sounds like uh, garbage to me, honestly. I don't want to deal with none of that. So we're not doing it. Long story short, we're not doing it. And it was frustrating. And I just... I, I Honestly, a lot of this stuff, like the cauldron and the tall neck stuff, usually is stuff I just... You know, you want to get done? I don't know if I'm going to do it in this game. They're incredibly frustrating. I feel like the tall necks shouldn't be puzzles. You know? How I... Like, I don't know. I should just be able to climb up to it like it, the, the puzzle in the in for, forbidden or in here's right horizon zero dawn so you have to find how to find out how to climb it how to get up top 
which was fine. Like, you look for a high point, see where the tall leg would walk close to a high point, and then you'd you jump up there, you know? Sometimes you had to defeat, I know one was in, like, a bandit camp. You had to defeat the bandit camp. I'm like, okay, fine. But some of these are stupid, and I don't like them. <laughs> It just seems like an unnecessary, several unnecessary obstacles. And the cauldrons were bad enough to begin with. And now, I am just not a fan of, and I realize I'm whining, I apologize. But I'm not a fan of the platforming and, like, the puzzling in this game. Like, I'm not a fan of having to pull things around. I'm not a fan of having to jump around and try to, like, catch ledges that are, like, incredibly difficult to, like, sort of, like, figure out. Like to, to, to latch onto people were saying for this other cauldron and I've had this, have had this issue before where like it just felt like you weren't able to connect with the ledges that you were supposed to grab like to grab onto with your hands and I'm just uh, I'm not about that life I don't like it so at this point I'm like whatever <laughs> like, and which is a bummer especially for the tall necks because tall necks are really really freaking useful for Opening the the areas. Ones put blades on their feet and uh, uh. danced on ice. That doesn't sound safe. <laughs> it does sound fun though. I was gonna talk to these guys after, but apparently I they can talk to him now. Looks like you got what you want. I did. Yeah. It's almost time to go after Hephaestus. Finally. We get to rock and roll. Yeah, at least that's that's how the old ones said it. I think. <laughs> I was hoping you could help me with something. It's about the Tanakh rebels, and it also has to do with the awesome. <gasps> That's right. Really? That doesn't sound good. Let me know what I can do to help. Ah, uh, this. I discovered an Osiram militant group. They call themselves the Sons of Prometheus. It looks like they're the ones overriding machines for the Tanakh rebels. I thought there was something only you could do. They're familiar with ancient tech, and they're as anti-Karja as it gets. So, last year we stopped Durval and his cronies from blowing up Meridian in retribution for the Red Raids. And now you're telling me we have another group of Asaram trying to wipe out the Karja with... with an army of machines and bloodthirsty Tanakh? Pretty much. Oh, well, that's just great! Is there any way you can help me find out who they are? Anything to track them down and stop them? Yeah, I can send out some messages from Chainscrape. Get in touch with my contacts in the claim. See what I can find out. I'd appreciate that. Yeah, I forgot. That was only because we went and did a bandit camp thing, too. Like, one of the big ones. So if there's, like, story incentives to doing those, that's great, you know? Bet you're used to that focus by now. Well, I can hit machines in their weak points. <laughs> I guess that's something. I wish all the other data was as easy to deal with. Now, to be honest, it's hard to understand half of what's on there. And then the other half reminds me, well, this isn't a fight you can win by just waving a hammer. Which is kind of what I do. But hey, that just means I gotta study harder. Now, make myself useful. I mean, play to your strengths, you know? This was supposed to be something that was done gradually, so... Having it all thrown at you as an adult would be a lot. What else have you been studying with your focus? Yeah, I've been looking into this uh, Vegas place you uh, found. Yeah, you would love it. Gaia showed us everything that happened when you went to get that Poseidon thing. I mean, this Moreland guy seems pretty smart. Though, risking the Tanakh clan lands for a light show is a bold move. Maybe I should check up on them at some point. Just in case. Oh. Right. Well, that's my big thing. Why I'm not- I don't want to let the Osram in here. Cause like, they're just gonna like, this isn't their land. Like, <laughs> go elsewhere. Like, you can't just walk in here and slap your stuff down and be like, yeah, this is mine now. Like, that's not how it works. Uh. Anything happen I should know about? Uh, Zoe asked us to help her bring more plants in here. Not for eating, apparently. <laughs> Have you asked me? Place is fine as it is. Well, yeah, you're a metal. Metal guy. might be plain, but it's sturdy. Nothing wrong with that. Who needs a bunch of vegetation? Oh boy, it's not like it. It not like it affects the the stability of the metal to have some plants in here. I should get going. I say hi to Gaia for me. 
I mean, you guys can go talk to her. Oop, 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 oop. Come here. Aloy. Is that what I think it is? Just need to merge it with Gaia, and she'll have enough power to handle Hephaestus. Good news. So, what can I do for you? I hope Zoe's not upset I'm distracting you from your training. Yeah, I don't think you have to worry about that. What do you mean? What happened? Before Zoe found a way to fix the land gods, I suggested that when Gaia was fully restored, she could just make new ones. Well, once we get a Festus, that's definitely a possibility. That's what I said. But I guess there was something about my tone she didn't like. She got pretty raw. Said I didn't understand the way her tribe feels about those machines. Which is true, of course. And the last thing I'd ever want to do is dismiss their traditions. But I was trying to look at things differently. More like you, you know? To see a machine as just a machine. Yeah, I guess I led you into trouble there, didn't I? Not your fault. Don't worry. Well, uh, we didn't we didn't grow up venerating machines, so it would be a different perspective, but I feel like she's right there listening. Did you talk to Zoe after your fight? I suffered through a few hours of glaring silence. Then she seemed to move on. Sort of. How do people do this? How do I know if the next thing I say won't blow up in my face? What if an apology is not enough next time? You give her a stuffed animal? You're the worst. <laughs> Who makes you think I know anything about any of this? Oh, no. Are you kidding? Abandoning me again, huh? Well, if she kills me next time, it's on you. I can't take responsibility <laughs> for your actions. You did it, Aloy. Let's hold off on the ale till it's over and done with. I'll let Aaron know. Okay, so let's uh let's have a chit chat about things. Aloy, you've returned. And you come bearing gifts. Does this mean we'll soon be able to uproot the zeniths from our lands? That's what I'm hoping. Good. I am a little concerned that this is like um oh, end game stuff and I I don't know, I guess I'm I don't know what else I'd be doing. I mean, I would like to be doing side quests and stuff, but I don't have a ton right now. But there's so many places to visit. I still haven't found San Francisco. <laughs> it looked like you were working on something over there. With Gaia now growing in strength, I've been trying to find a way to heal the land gods, even if some people think I should give up on them. Oh, come I already on. said I was sorry. Your friend thought it'd be a good idea to replace the land gods with new machines when Gaia recovers. It wasn't. The land gods have taken care of our people for generations. They are not some broken toy to be thrown away. Even if they are just machines doing their job, to abandon them in their time of suffering seems cruel. I'm sure Varl understands that too. He does now. I had to get pretty mad at him at first, though. You know I can hear you guys, right? I don't think you necessarily needed to get mad at him. Like, I don't know, he just, he doesn't, un he, he kind of gets it, but like to him, it is a tool and something you could replace if it is broken. And he's obviously a very understanding guy. Like I'm kind of, I'm kind of a moral side on this. I feel like she blew up on him a little unnecessarily. She could have explained it a bit kinder, but maybe she's going through something else. I don't know. Varl looks pretty focused. He's been obsessing over the data revealed to us by Poseidon. Just the other day, we read about mountains hiding deep underwater that spew fire. If I understand correctly, Gaia said the flames they release come from the very center of the Earth. Like a heart, beating with the life of the world. As always, the cycle can be found in even the most unlikely of places. Of course, Varl's mostly interested in watching explosions happen underwater. I feel like there's a... There's some cultural clash here. <laughs> you ever play that board game Aaron set up? Strike? I'm the one who gave it to him. I was hoping it'd distract him enough to spare us that ruckus he calls death metal. No such luck. Come on, everybody, these guys are not getting along people. very well. If you need me, you know where to find me. I think they need to get out. Like, everybody needs to come out and hang out with me. Separately. 
And I would play strike with Aaron if it didn't freaking make me... It's like, oh no, you have to do it this way. And I'm like, mm, I don't want to do it that way though. Consider. Uh, nope, don't care about none of that, I think. This is my... This is my workbench though. I don't know, maybe I'm just not upgrading my weapons and armor like I should be, but there's so many weapons, I just don't know what to upgrade, you know? I mean, like, besides the one I, ones I use, but they're requiring a lot heavier duty stuff. So this Hephaestus, he's like, uh, Gaia's own What, you have more, there's more to say? Yeah, a very angry as like my uncle Laurent, man didn't smile a day in his life and would box your ears if you messed with his forge. Are we having a conversation about the conversation we just had? You look like you've got something to say. Do I? Just a couple of questions. I do? Okay. Looks like things between you and Zoe are better now. I suffered through a few hours of glaring silence. Then she seemed to move okay. on. Sort of. How do people do this? Mm -hmm. How do I know if the next thing? What if an apology? You give her a step. You're the worst. I am the worst. That was freaking hilarious. I, do. I should get this to Gaia. Please. Okay, bye. Where is my other friend? Do you? Ha you do have things for me. Okay, and I should go downstairs and check with Beta. Hello. Come here. Come. Come here. You busy? One must never be idle when at war. But there is always time to speak to one's commander. Oh, that's... That's not really how I see myself. It is how we see you. I don't get why I just get to gather up people in my basement and just leave them there. <sighs> Anything interesting happened while I was away? I found an acceptable place to practice with my blade. Oh, and where is that? Outside, above the base. There's a nest of sun winds that are always up for a fight. Ever thought of sparring with something that's not trying to kill you? That would defeat the purpose of the training. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you've been looking at with that focus? Gaia showed me the knowledge you recovered out in the desert. I am no chaplain, but I'd be curious to test if something I read is true. What is it? The Old Ones believed one could hear the great waters, even in the middle of the desert, if you carried the carcass of a water animal with you. Oh, the shell? They called them seashells. <laughs> that sounds... kind of gross. <laughs> it's not that. A seashell. What have you been up to? Varl has asked to learn the differences between my people's clans, so I've been teaching him to knock the history. It is heavy with blood and death, but also with honorable deeds and vanquished tyrants. Maybe you'd like to hear about it as well, when our mission is done. Yeah! I'd be honored. My dude! Ella really should have a secondary... I mean, she kind of is a historian also, but I feel like she's a bit too straightforward. She doesn't really like getting... She's too practical. She, like, she doesn't like getting into complexities. I'll let you get back to your training. And so will I. Onward, okay, beta. I gotta go find the stairs. I'm not sure where the stairs live. I don't think that door had power before, but looks like it's malfunctioning. This one? I'm curious now. Looks like some kind of Maintenance Color space. me intrigued. So many ancient metal eyes. I need to sell some of those, I think. I don't think I can use them. Oh, ho, what's this? I wonder where this leads. Hang on, Beta. I will be there momentarily. Let me make sure. This reminds me of the game I did not play, 
Alien Isolation. Power cells? Huh. As per usual, I watched people play it because it's scary. the other one. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I guess it was. I know that they're going to require the second one here, so I'm going to get it. What? I better keep this down here. What? What? Oh, right there? I tried to... What? Is this where Beta is? Yeah. Why? Why can I bring that in here? Wouldn't let me bring it in here. Secrets. Why would it just give me like a secondary route? Oh, hello? Let them experience a great many things. Holograms are illusions, though. I wonder if at some point they just couldn't tell what was real anymore. Oh, boy. Maybe. They were intelligent, but that doesn't mean they were wise. Yeah. The hologram thing, AI, all that AI wonky stuff people keep playing with, thinking it's going to be the next big thing. Maybe it is, but I don't think that's a good thing, necessarily. But yeah, and it's also like the VR stuff, like if you get VR going too far... This should help. You know, well... Will that be bad? Will people be able to differentiate? I've read, I've read books, like, uh, like, what is it, like, I guess middle grade books? I think that were kind of like that, like, about what if holograms... Go too far. Oh, that's not. Sorry, I wanted to go downstairs. Um, but it wasn't like what if holograms go too far. It was just like kids, and then like I don't know. You go into like a future sci-fi type I thing. I can't remember what they were called. But obviously they're like super cool. But you know, you just gotta add the all things in moderation. You know. Did it get zooped back up? Ugh, that's frustrating. I thought I would need it. Hello. Hi, what's this over here? Is this where I... Hi, hang up, hang up, Beta. I'll talk to you in a second. Hang up, there's... There's secret... There's secret places. Can I open that? No? Is that... Okay, okay, whatever. I don't know. Oh, maybe I would... No, because I can't crouch with it. I was like, maybe I need to bring the thing through here. Like, the power cell through here. But I can't, uh... I don't think, anyway, I can crouch with it. New? Anything new? Hey, um... Just wanted to see how you're doing. I'm fine. Because the, the last time we spoke about Tilda, you got pretty upset, so I... Forget it. Was there anything else? I'm trying to remember that she hasn't had a good life and that she doesn't know how to interact with people, but holy cow. Sometimes I'm like, look, I'm trying to be next to you. <laughs> so, have you, um, have you been going through more of the recordings for my focus? What about studying Hephaestus? Have you been doing that? A little. It's quite different from the subordinate function that escaped Gaia Prime 20 years ago. How so? It's mutating, changing its own code. At this rate, we'll never capture it. We'll find a way, if you say so. Look at I've saved the world once already. I have the experience. So, aside from Varl and Gaia, who else have you been talking to? 
Zoe told me how you met after your escape from the Hades Proving Lab. I had no idea you were severely injured. If the Xenus had killed you, life on Earth would be doomed. My escape would have been for nothing. But they didn't kill me. And thanks to Varl and Zoe, I was able to recover. You said you and Varl talk sometimes. What about? He told me about your tribe, the Nora, and the proving ritual you did. I told him if I was born into the tribe, I'd never be able to do the proving. It does require a lot of physical training, but there are plenty of other roles besides being a hunter. I don't think I'd be suited for any of them. Well, I guess it's a good thing you're not a Nora then. Was that painful? I don't, I got, like, what did, she, what did she want me to say? Like, I've tried to say, there's other roles. She's like, I wouldn't be suited to any of them. Also, if you were born into the tribe, you would have had, you don't know, the training and the upbringing. Freaking, you and Aloy have the same genetic capabilities. You know what I mean? Like, if you're going to, like, at least at the very same basic genetic level, like, you have the capability to, to attain her physical strength level. You know what I mean? Okay, I don't know if this is going to get me punched, but... Oh, I think we, we already did all that. What else can you tell me about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever uh -huh. talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth, she was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. Okay, bye! It's time for me to go. I'll check on you later. Yeah, sure. Man, almost a half an hour. Just talking to my friends. I hope Guy and I don't necessarily have the same 30 minutes worth of things to talk about. If so, it's gonna be a two-parter. Woohoo! That's okay. That's fine. Make sure I get out where I wanna go. I think that's all the friends that I have. I haven't acquired anybody else to put in my Pokeball box. It is good to see you again, Aloy. You too. I see you have recovered, Demeter. Should I talk to you first? You are. You have the glowing. You have the glowing icon of wanting to speak to me. Nope. Okay. The final one. The final one that we have thus far. Aloy. With the acquisition of Ether, Poseidon, and Demeter, my heuristic processing density has expanded greatly. I should now be able to absorb Hephaestus. Ah. Unfortunately, we have made progress on a plan to capture it. With Varl's encouragement, Beta analyzed all available information oh, on that's Hephaestus. That's not what she just told me. Its expansion has been rampant. It is too large to be beam cast. And the kernel you have been using could never hold it. Therefore, it must be contained in a location with a direct physical connection to me. Ah. A place with two data cores. Two cores? Where would we find a place like that? Gemini. No. I don't want to go there. An abandoned cauldron in the desert west of here. Oh, Gemini, that Seismic makes sense. activity disrupted the original construction. Duo. Right? Two like the two. Data cores were built as a result. Yeah, that makes sense. I know that place. It's near the Desert Clan's I've capital. I've been twice. We'll have to bring you there by hand. 
I have devised a blueprint for a suitable, albeit unwieldy, transport rig. Oh no. It will require two people to carry it to Gemini. Oh no. I can help. Once I am installed on the first core, I will call down Hephaestus on the other, trapping it. I will then initiate the murder. This is not gonna work. I'm gonna lose Gaia. However, in order to construct the I'm scared. Rig, I will need considerable. Oh, help. okay. Can you build it? I suppose I could, but it's not gonna work. The Zeniths will find you. I mean, if we are just Minerva traipsing. won't be able to conceal your location. That is correct. Absorbing Hephaestus will create a significant power surge, easily detected by anyone capable of noticing. But what if there were multiple power surges to fake out the Zeniths? If Erend, Zoe, and Catalo spread out to the other cauldrons and create their own surges, would those conceal the one at Gemini? Analyzing. Such a tactic might be effective. With Beta's help, we should be able to build a set of handheld pulse generators. I told you it's not gonna work. I did a test. Hephaestus has written Alpha Clearance out of its access module. You'll never be able to capture it. Then we need a higher level of clearance. There is no higher. Mm. No. What he used to purge the Apollo database and kill the Alphas. But to get it, you would have to find Thebes. No. The private no. bunker he retreated to when the world ended. If he has a clone, nobody knows where that is. Not even the Zeniths. I will kill the it. The only intel was that it was somewhere in San Francisco. <laughs> no. Not San Francisco. Alva, the Quen Diviner I met, said yeah, yeah, yeah. people had set up a base at Landfall. Uh huh. They were searching for data in San Francisco from there. She might be able to help. So I guess I'm headed all the way west. While I'm gone, will you be able to build the rig and the pulse generators? I'll try. Oh my gosh, Ted, not Ted Farrow. If I find. I'll make sure she has what she needs. If I find a Zenith version of Ted Farrow. I am 100% booting it off the cliff. They better give me the choice to do that. He doesn't deserve anything good in this world, or the next, or any oh, in the, the past. The Quinn have a ferry on the coast that they used to get to the ruins of San Francisco. Oh my gosh, did I not? Did I not say something, something about this at the beginning and I was talking with people in the comments about it too? Aloy, I have oh. managed to unlock an additional room near the servers. I'm getting overwhelmed. Understood. With the rooms. Um, no, I was talking about it with people before, where we were just like, oh my gosh, like, what if a Ted Farrow clone pops up and I have to be friendly with it? Or, like, what if something involving Ted Farrow has survived and I have to deal with it if they, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, if they freaking, if they let, if they let Ted Farrow live, if he did some sort of zenith thing, I, they better let me boot him off a cliff. They better let me stab him in the chest after he has been useful. Because if I have to work with him, it's actually going to infuriate me. A clone, maybe. As long as the clone is not just like him. And it's like its own entity. You know what I mean? And maybe doesn't like its originator, its progenitor. That's fine. But oh my gosh. if I, <laughs> I'm, I'm actually getting really angry just thinking about it. <laughs> Oh, although maybe I will find maybe there will be Apollo stuff too left behind too also I don't know what I was trying to say um but yeah that could be interesting this is a whole other thing so we still have time I guess to do fun things we have to build stuff now I have the clearance to go to San Francisco because um they were saying Alvira or whatever her name is was uh saying just seeing his name infuriates me um we're like, don't come unless you absolutely need to. And I'm like, I absolutely need to <laughs> now. Um, I'm just going to look at my skills. Oh, I don't know. I have, like, I have everything I want, really. I have Infiltrator and Trapper fully spec'd out. I should maybe do Hunter more because I do end up using my bow. Survivor wouldn't be bad. I just, one of my other little, like, niggling gripes, you know, is that, like, just, like, just a little, like, like, just a little annoying thing, I guess, is that, um, it's hard to scroll from potions and bombs. Like, I can't, 
I can't run and do them at the same time. So it's like, oh, health potions feel very useless to me because I can't, I had to scroll through like 20 things sometimes <laughs> to get to them. And it's like, oh, this is, this is, this is not conducive to being in combat. Like, why, why is it this complicated? Because I should be able to like reach over with my other hand and play a bit ham-handedly where I control movement with, with my right hand instead of my, well, with my right hand on the left stick and then like filter with my left hand through the stuff on the D-pad, but I can't do that. It stops me. Like, it won't let me do that. Ranged attacks deal more damage when you're dangerously wounded. Well, that does happen. And I would like to use my overridden machines more, but it won't let me call one in when I'm trying to, like... When I'm, like, actively engaged in combat or, like, near an enemy sometimes. If I don't have one already, it won't let me call one in. And I'm like, okay, like... That's not great for me. Oh, build up valor faster. I do love that. Increase, increase weapon stamina, stamina limit. Wow, I cannot speak. Oh my gosh, yes. I do not have enough for that, but we are going down there. I don't even know what <laughs> the stamina limit. Okay, cool. Jeez Louise. Because crafting more ammo, it does, I'm pretty sure, so far it has included traps also, which is nice. Um, but I'm actually going to go ahead and call this one here. Hopefully it's not too long, but we'll talk with Guy in the next one. Um, I hope you all enjoyed just chatting. <laughs> you are so lucky you don't have to see that abomination of a cauldron I had to do. Or that I tried to do. Anyway, but thank you all for watching this one. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. To all my patrons, but to especially Reese Guido, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. I really do appreciate it a lot. And I hope you're enjoying the series. Um, but yeah, thank you all again for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.